everybody and welcome back once again to Photoshop Elements TV. And thank you very much if you're newly subscribed to this channel. I do really appreciate that. If you're not, as always, click that subscribe button and that bell notification and you will be notified every time I post a new Photoshop Elements video tutorial. So today, as the, as the title is always giving it away, we are looking at Photoshop Elements and we are looking at layers. I get a lot of emails about layers and how do we use those and why do we need layers and we can do so many more videos on layers but today I'm just going to give you the basics of how to use a layer and a layer mask because I think those are two great very important tools. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see I have a picture here of uh, our main road with a bunch of snow on it uh, from one of the snowfall days you know you get out you grab the camera you go out and you start snapping some pictures right and start creating some art but today we're going to look here so we have the background image the first thing we're going to do is do a command or control j and the reason we do this we duplicate that background layer so we never mess the background layer up our original and we just turn off the visibility so that's the first thing you're learning in layers. If you go to your layer palette on the right, if you don't see your layer palette, if you have something like filters on or effects, and you're like, hey, I don't see the layers. The layers palette is in the lower right corner, the first icon. That is your layers. And if you have, a, you see the little eyeball on the front of the layer, that is the visibility for you to either see it or not. So as you can see, there's nothing now. So we're going to leave our new layer on and we're going to turn the back layer off. You can rename these layers just by simply clicking on it and uh, right clicking and say rename layer and we'll just say uh, background new. How about that? Uh, of course, I might want to type background instead of back group, but you get the idea. So background. Um, Okay, uh, what's going on with the spelling here today? New background. Um, background new. Okay, and then just hit your enter key. So that's our new background layer. What we're going to do now is I thought I would show you layering. It, layering, think of the old time uh, way we used to take paper. Now, if you're younger, you may not remember this, but... We used to lay paper over comic strips and we would trace them out. So we were, in essence, layering the paper. And carbon paper used to work this way some decades ago, where carbon paper would be layers of carbon and you would write on it and it would transpose all the way down through the bottom page. So layering is stacks of pictures um, or text, and we're going to look at that, or, um, or, or more layers. So what we're going to do first here on this particular picture is we're going to add a new layer. To work on the layer, make sure that the layer is selected. You can see here, if I was working on the background layer, I'd be working on this layer. So I'm working on layer one. I am clicked on it and it is highlighted blue. What we're going to do is we're going to fill that layer with black. All right, so we'll grab our paint bucket tool, come over on top of the picture and just click. You can see we just filled that with black. If we would have been on the background picture, we would have actually filled the background picture with black. That's not what we want to do here. So we're on layer one. Now we want to add a layer mask. So if you go to your top toolbar, where the little delete bit button is here, we're going to go over three and you'll see add a layer mask. Make sure you're selected on the layer where you want the layer mask. You can see now we have a layer mask on there. Now this is really great to create artwork. I've done a lot of these. Uh, it creates a really, I always call it a conversation piece. So we'll go over. And we can do a few different things. Um, let's start out with uh, a paintbrush. So we grab our paintbrush tool. And what we're going to do is select your brush brush size and if you don't know how to use your brush size use your left and right bracket keys that's left will make it smaller right will increase it 
So we're going to set our brush key, our, our brush to about that size, and just start painting. So I'm just using my mouse. I'm just going to click, and just start filling your way around this this picture. And you can see with the layer mask, what's happening is you're painting with black on a white uh, layer mask. So you're revealing what's under it, and that's the background image. So again, we're just going to paint a little bit more. And if you paint this and you get a little bit too much, you say, wow, that's, I, I didn't want to open that up down there. Just switch your layer palette over here on the left to white. And now if you paint with white, look what happens. We cover it back up. So you can really do a lot of artistic uh, stuff with this just by creating a little bit of uh, artistic moves here with your, with your mouse. And maybe we just want something like that. The next thing I want to show you is another uh, layer. So what you're, the next layer is going to be whenever we add text to a photo, then we are adding a layer. So let's add some text to this particular picture. And we're going to add it. Um, we'll add it vertically. So vertical text will go up and down, right? And we'll come over here. And I'll just start typing. Of course, I don't want my text to be black that would not work so let's take this out let's change the text maybe to white how about that uh, snowfall and I hit enter I really don't want it on that side so I'm just going to say snowfall on this one you can see now where we have a new layer a snowfall layer we can move this around just like so and then we'll add another text string I didn't want on the right so I'm gonna put on the left every I mean on the right I didn't want on the left and we're gonna put in here uh, 2021 there we go now you can make this text bigger just by simply grabbing the little handlebars on the left or right clicking on it and dragging out so we can actually make it bigger same with this one. If you click the checkbox, click on your other text, you can do the same thing. Maybe make it a little bigger. And pull it down a little bit. So the benefit of having the uh, text on layers is if we make a mistake, if we don't like something, we can always just right click on it and you can delete the layer. Or you can just go up and click the little delete trash can at the very top. Now remember, we can always turn off the visibility. So say if we don't like that 2021, you can just simply turn off the visibility and now you will not see it. We're going to leave it turned on there. All right. So that is the basis of how to use layering. Just remember anything you have in here, you're going to stack it. So what happens if we take this background layer that we created and move it up? You lose the whole effect except the text because the text is still above it. So anything above it will show on the background. If we move this up again, you can see now it's covering the text up. If you move it all the way up to the top here, come on, get up here. There you go. Now we're moving, we're removing all of those layers because they are below it. So the background picture is covering everything up. So to get it back, just move it back down, and there you go. There's your effect back in. So I hope this shows you a little bit about layering, a good start anyway, um, to make you less afraid of using layers. And I think layers, well, I know layers is the best possible way to save your original image. Because if anything goes wrong, we click off these visibilities, right, and you turn on your original background, it's never been damaged, it hasn't been touched by anything. So we're going to turn these back on. Now the one thing I can tell you to save this out when you're saving this to get printed anywhere, a lot of people get kind of uh, confused with this. You will go under File. So we'll go under File, Save As. And we're going to save it as a JPEG. Because you can't have a PSD file printed. No one's going to print that for you. Give it a new name. New Snow. Click Save. 
And you'll see what happens is it actually flattens out the image. So it puts all those layers together and flattens them out. You can see the total size is 5.1 megabytes, which is good. You always want the maximum setting when you're printing. And you would simply click OK. And that will save a JPEG file. Always remember if you want to preserve the layering, so you can come back in here and do some edits later. Then we want to do a file, save as, and you want to do it as a PSD file. But I would put an underscore here, underscore edited, or edit, that's good. And then I would save that. Then every time you reopen that, you will have all your layers and everything that you can work with later on. So, All right, well, thank you so much for watching uh, this version or this uh, episode of Photoshop Elements TV. I hope you come back and visit often. If you have any uh, suggestions for future videos, please leave those in the comments. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.